The Quad City Times annual salute to sports. Well, it had a different approach to honoring their winners today. The winners gathered at Jeff's Car Corner in Davenport, where male athlete of the year, Bettendorf swimmer Charlie Bunn, a nine-time state champ, and female athlete of the year, Grace Buffelli, who's going to Northern Iowa. They were presented their scholarship checks. It's a great honor. Uh, it just shows all the hard work and uh, dedication. And I'm just excited to accept this honor and I'm excited for the future. It'll help out a lot um, and I'm just excited to use it towards uh, my college plans, um, the food, everything. So I'm excited. It means something special because, like I've said before, a lot of the athletes have had amazing seasons. So it just means a lot to be able to know that they had amazing seasons, but I was the winner. Last year, I was I was also nominated, and I thought it was pretty cool what they did at the high school. But obviously, with the circumstances, we couldn't do that this year. I would have liked to have been able to go to the high school, but I mean, it's just just as fine. Congrats to Charlie and to Grace. Salute to Sports Female Team of the Year was the Norscott Basketball Lady Lancers. They went 26-0. They won their third 4A state title in four years. There's TJ Case getting the check. And then the Male Team of the Year was tipped in cross country. The Tigers won, have now won consecutive 2A state championships for the first time in program history. Head coach Eric Walsh, very proud of his team. Let's hear from both coaches who were both at Jeff's Car Corner. Yeah, I mean, the season was a special season. And... Uh, to have the Quad Cities and Jeff's Car Corner uh, have us be, you know, the best girls team is pretty special. We're really blessed. Uh, it's great for the girls and great for the community and the program that, that we were able to do this. We always use money. Uh, we usually use it for um, youth camps or team camps that we're going to. or We're pretty good on our uniforms and things like that, but we'll, we'll be able to use it in some capacity for sure. So we really appreciate it. It was an exciting couple of years for us. Uh, Tipton hasn't won state cross country since 1972, and since this team won it back to back, it really rolls some momentum into the future of what this program is really all about. And, and again, it starts with hard work, and I appreciate the dealership offering this uh, money and opportunity to represent the teams because our victories the last two seasons at state were definitely team wins. Uh, every runner counted, and as cross country, you know, goes, you know, every, every position counts.